Hi everybody, Sadibodadi, welcome to my channel, Kamalam Gontan Mvet, and on this channel, I spoke about my reality shows, A to Allah, and the best is Allah, so I am going to my shows, see you in the next video, see you in the next video, see you in the next A to Allah, and Zanzi, if it is your first time joining me today, press the subscribe button if you like content on this channel. So you guys, today we're going to talk about Uteri Peto in this house of hairs that everybody is talking about. See, I not so long ago, a story did come out that the uh, SIU, which is the Special Investigating Unit, I, I believe, uh, was investigating the misuse of funds that came from the National Lotteries Commission. Okay, the National Lotteries Commission had granted or given funds to certain non profit organizations that were intended to help certain communities in uh, different ways. Okay but uh, after the investigation it was discovered that some of those funds were misused and there are people that are very known uh, well known in south africa that have been known uh, to be suspects in uh, the misuse of those funds and one of those people is terry peto when the story first came out terry peto came out and posted on her instagram that she did not know anything about that uh, it sounded like she is denying that she was one of those people that had misused uh, the funds uh, she said she was going to help the siu with whatever that they needed but that you know she was innocent basically that's what they that was my interpretation of her post however you guys after some time you know it was reported that she had actually uh decided to basically snitch or uh to help the siu even to uh, get information on the others you know that you know were implicated in this thing i guess she realized good see this is no child's play here uh let me just admit to what i have done and see if i can help them and maybe that is going to help her to not get um a, a, a prison sentence we don't know you guys as far as i know she hasn't been charged with anything uh criminal uh but the investigation is still uh, going okay so recently it was announced that her house a uh, triple story house that she had built with these funds was going uh to be uh, going on an auction so they were going to auction off the house because of course with an investigation like this they have to see if they can retrieve any of the money uh, that was misused so if they can sell any of the assets uh, where the money was acquired in a fraudulent way they will try and do that and this is what they're trying to do with this house let's see if we can sell the house so that they can get the money back okay so this is what they were uh, trying to do but they said that nobody did bid on this house so it says out of the 22 virtual bidders that attended the asset auction no bidders put up their own bids on the three-story house belonging to actress terry peto the bid was closed at 2.5 million with no offers according to the reports the house is sold on without guarantee or warranty at the buyer's risk and it is owing 4,972 on rates and 28,839 uh, on uh, levies you guys i don't know you guys why uh, people wouldn't build bid on this house because it is uh, a beautiful beautiful house uh, it might be that people do feel like since the house has been uh, online so much and it's associated with this story it's always going to be associated with the story because it was built with the funds that came from um, the National Lotteries Commission so everybody will associate the house to that story so maybe that's why people are feeling like it's not worth the money or maybe just people are feeling like the price that they are putting on the house uh, is too much for for it i don't know you guys when i watched the video where they were showing the inside of the house i was like okay i expected it to be fancier than it is it actually looks nicer on the outside than it does on the inside for the money that was spent on it but you guys uh it still is a beautiful uh, home but it looks like people were not really that interested in it uh, maybe the people that were there at the time and uh, other people are still going to make some offers. I don't know, you guys. So they say Terry is under investigation by the Special Investigating Unit at the house. Her Brian Stein mentioned 
uh, was allegedly built with funds from the National Lotteries Commission and a preservation order was granted by the High Court. The luxury home is situated in, in, in an enclosed complex with 24-hour security closed to all amenities including the how train, bus stop, shopping center, GP college and the main roads. It has three bedrooms, a kitchen, an open plan dining room, a family room, a lounge, a third bedroom uh, that can be used as a study, a large rooftop garden with entertainment area a double garage and made a uh, quarters it looks like it, it is a, a beautiful and a big uh, house you guys i wonder why honestly they're not um uh, bidding on this house anyway you guys of course like people on twitter have gone back to do their own investigation and one of the things that they have found when they were looking at uh, uh terry Porto's old tweets she was somebody that posted a lot about winning the lottery playing the lottery and um it makes me think that she, that she was uh, somebody that was looking for a way to make a uh, quick money you know and uh maybe that is the reason she ended up in this situation in the uh, first place there is uh, also another tweet that she tweeted which also indicated that uh, she might have tweeted it after she got this money because it's almost like she is indicating that she won the lottery i don't know you guys if she was trying to create an impression on people that she won the lottery so that when she starts building this house she starts buying cars and all of that people would think that she won the lotto i don't know if that was intentional on her side or it's just a coincidence that she was somebody that really was looking for a way to make quick money and then when she was offered this opportunity or when this opportunity came along to get this money uh, she didn't miss it you guys but a lesson for all of us you guys is that there is no easy money or there might be an easy money but it comes with consequences at the end of the day you guys you we all have to work hard to acquire what we need to um acquire because if you think about it uh it looks like she didn't even spend 10 years in that house but she didn't even enjoy it for like 10 years you know and now she has to deal with this or oh, wouldn't you rather just work hard for you to get what you have so that you don't live in fear of uh getting caught another thing you guys is that some people would like to have um, associations with abantu abakwe politic because of course they want to have access to such fundings and uh, and then you get the funding and then when you get caught the people that uh, help you to get the money are not going to suffer those uh, consequences because if you look at this investigation a lot of the people that are being named here are people that are famous i'm an artist and all of that none of the politicians uh, or people in government are being named here so if you think about it honestly you you can see that when it comes to you getting into trouble none of them will help you even if they helped you to get the funding but when it's time now to deal with the consequences they will stand on the side and you like basically all of these celebrities it almost look like it's a way uh, they are being used as the front to say these are the people that took the money but for me it's a surprise that none of the politicians are suffering the same way when uh, funds are going missing so people have to be very careful and also just to know that the money that you don't work for you're going to live in fear of getting caught or uh, one day is it even worth it is it, is it worth it to take the money because the, once the siu now comes now you are on your own it's really sad uh to watch you guys but i don't feel sorry for her honestly you guys even if she does go to prison it will be sad but i won't feel sorry for her because she if she did take the money those are the consequences that she has to live with you know and yes you guys please tell me what you think about this story in the comment section even though i don't feel sorry for her i am still disappointed because she's not somebody that i would think would do something like that but nonetheless she did okay anyway you guys please uh share with me what you think about this in the comment section like the video before come again and share it with your friends with your family and even with strangers